Hamilton got through. And some of the way taken off it. And the batsman will get a couple. Franklin's looking at a third. And he's uh, comfortably come back. Pretty well run. And 50 for Ross Taylor. He can raise his back to the gallery because it really has been one gallant knock. We've seen a bit of flow from him in this innings. So timely 50, just when New Zealand wanted it. Some nice shots. He's good against the spin and uh, very good off the back foot, especially in that area of point and uh, extra cover. Real gas to wind, and this one has slipped away down the leg side. Now, whether the batsman's got anything on this, have to wait and see. But they have completed two runs. Bowling lineup, they've been extremely disciplined in the series. Cracked away by Taylor, he's got it away back with a point, and it's a real chase. And nicely stopped out there. Good shot, and some good fielding. Oh, lost it. Just another gust of wind. Umar Gul got three quarters of the way in there. Another bale falls off and apparently they do have the heavy bales. They're out there. They're not always on, but they're out there. We'll try again. Nicely played. Beautiful shot, Franklin. That's his first boundary. And it was worth waiting for. That's more like it. Punishing drive of the back foot, Umar Gul pitching it short. And he's uh, well settled now to experiment with his brand. Off the back foot, finding the gap through the offside. Handsome drive. Sold out straight away, mate. Boundary to Ross Taylor. That'll run away quite nicely. Probably, well, it's looking like they've made the right choice because they have to win the game. Oh, that's a lovely shot. And that might just race away for four. In fact, it was beautifully timed. Well, he's elegant, James Franklin, when he gets on the front foot like this. All about the timing. Look at that. No follow through at all. Edge from Taylor along the ground. I don't quite think she's. Uh... Smithy, it's interesting. Have a look at Adnan Akmal, his kit. Puma kit. Whose kit do you reckon that is? Well, I've heard the story, but I don't quite believe it, so you better recount it to uh, people at home. I, I think it's a very good story. A little humorous, too. Well, the keeping gloves and pads are actually Brendan McCullum's. On arriving in New Zealand, he found Brendan McCullum and said that his older brother, Cameron, had said to come and see him about some gear. And he needed some gloves for the test match coming up. And some pads as well. Oh! And Brendan obviously had a spare set in the garage at home, so looked after the young Pakistani keeper. And so he's actually wearing a pair of Brendan McCullum's gloves and pads, which is quite remarkable for an international keeper. Oh, that's a lovely shot from James Franklin. He appeared to have so much time to put that loose ball away. OK, what did he give him? He gave him a cricket bat. Not that Brendan needed a cricket bat because he has plenty in his stocks and is sponsored, so can't use it. But it was a nice gesture that he uh, offered up to Brendan and then he actually asked him after he'd given him the cricket bat whether he could have some batting pads as well because he's a bit short. So he was looking to get fully kitted out by Brendan McCallum. <laughs> I'm just trying to think it through my time. I can at times remember guys trying to get bats off other players because you see some good Indian made bats, good willow, but never protective equipment, pads, gloves. So he's quite a character. Of course he's got an older brother, Cameron Atmel, who's of course an international keeper and is sponsored. Would have thought he would have been looked after his younger brother. Obviously not. 
Brendan McCallum has a nice new bat now, courtesy of Adnan Akmal. So five balls to get through to the break for the Kiwis. Oh, that's a beauty, that. That really did light up the eyes, didn't it? And Ross Taylor was a little bit awkward getting out of the way of it. He's bowled with good pace and he's battled well into the breeze here, he has. Taylor goes up at first, like up and then he has to go down and get that left arm out of the way. The left arm was in real trouble of getting taken out. Riaz is doing a good job into the breeze, bowling with good pace. And Taylor was made to look awkward there. The last part of the session has belonged to Taylor and to James Franklin. It's been hard graft, just 67 runs and 123 minutes of batting. Well, he's been brought into the team, fundamentally to uh, bolster the batting. He might get some bowling to do as well. Just gives the skipper a little different option with that left arm that he has. I guess like a lot of players, and we've mentioned this before, the Nathan Astles and the Scott Styruses of this world, he probably first came in as a bowler. Undeniably. I just know that if I was involved in selecting this Black Caps Test Match team, I would be desperate for James Franklin to do well in the Sinnets in this Test Match. Of course, it's the last Test Match for some time, but he could be a real asset, batting there at six, becoming the fourth seamer, the third seamer when you want to play two spin bowlers. You get the right conditions, he becomes a genuine threat with the ball if the ball's swinging, but you don't want to have to rely on his bowling. Franklin through the covers, lovely shot, another boundary coming up. He's so strong off the back foot. Well, he's such a good timer, isn't he? He never appears to really hit the ball that hard. Be it front or back foot, he's patient, and this is key. He is batting very patiently, his strike rate uh, is fairly low, but when he gets an opportunity to score like this, he's got to put it away, and he did just that. Lovely execution, down on it and through the gap. Nicely caressed away by Franklin. He'll get a couple for this. He's going very hard looking for a third, but he won't have time to come back. Well, that's, <laughs> that's understandable. That is a decent breeze. And a few caps have gone west. And he certainly went off the ley line. He got flowing right off course, didn't he? He was missing the runway there. So he's going to go round, as they say. Oh, that's a pretty rough one and nicely done by the keeper. To Oh, that's very good. That's outstanding. 157 for four. Smithy, reminiscent of you, mate. I'm disappointed he didn't have a pike in there somewhere. And another twist. And that slipped away down yes. through third man. It wasn't the best shot from James Franklin. But he's picked up a boundary to finish the over at 163 for four. Uh, he dropped anchor just when New Zealand wanted him to. Down the leg side and appeal and given. Yes, just a little edge was it from James Franklin. And Adnan Akmal has taken a very good catch down the leg side. And the breakthrough for Pakistan. Well, this really is a fantastic catch because Smithy was just describing his play down the leg side and he hasn't been spot on with his collection. But have a look at this one. Once again was blinded by that tall frame of James Franklin and Franklin knew straight away that he had been taken caught behind. His uh, good innings comes to an end.